Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Crapman. And uh, what we're going to do this time through is we're going to look at three point lighting. Now I have Victoria loaded up and I have uh, three lights. I have a fill light, a key light, and an edge light. And they're all surrounding her um, in the scene. Let's go ahead and take a look at our fill light first off. Now our fill light is the workhorse of the bunch. The fill light is the one that is going to take up, it's going to do a lot of your lighting in your scene and it's going to cause it's going to set most of the mood um, now in Carrera what you want to do is uh, make sure that your range is kind of low um, especially if you're if your lights really close and it's going to give you um, more of the results that you're you're expecting if you're um, if you're messing with your lights now um, Let's go ahead and do something here. Let's uh, go into the interactive renderer, uh, do scene lights, make sure this first guy's clicked, and let's show the backdrop. Now you notice that now you can get a real time feedback on what your light's doing to your scene. And this is that's a pretty cool trick. Now I'm pretty sure it, it depends on your resources. Um, uh, the more lights you have, the harder it's going to be to manipulate them with the interactive ren interactive renderer turned on. So, just FYI, let's go to our key light and let's make it visible. Let's throw it. Make sure that it's pointing at the head. And you notice how you notice how immediately you can tell that it's helping the fill light with the scene. Now you normally have this on the side or in the back, but mostly on the side just to kind of help your fill light out. And for me, it my fill light always I've always liked my uh, not my fill light my key light to be a spotlight. Um, just so I can have more control over it. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, do a do a by gradient. And you notice when I uh, clicked on the interactive render, I hit show backdrop. Now my backdrop, I can manipulate my backdrop and get real time feedback. Go ahead and make this like this. Let's make this like this and yeah and now we're on our way to making a fairly decent picture um, you notice how everything looks right you notice how everything looks round um, this is what we're wanting this is what we're going for let's go ahead and spin Victoria a little bit by clicking on her head pushing option and then spinning the scene a little bit and you notice how um, the backdrop stays the same. The backdrop doesn't move. That's what we want. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and turn on our edge light. Now, uh, the edge light is called something else, too. I'm not really sure uh, what the other name is, but it's called something else, too. I've always called it an edge light, though, because it helps to accentuate the edge of the subject kind of adds a little bit little little light in the background well it's not really in the background I guess go top there we go now there's more of an edge right there and I kind of like to make it um, make it match my background a little bit since I have a blue background let's go ahead and make this a little bit blue and you notice how um, there we go there we go and you notice how there's a little bit of a blue glow right here to kind of match the blue background that's kind of that's your edge light and that's it it'll help add just a little bit more depth to your scene. Uh, let's see. Um, and now you notice in all my lights I the range fall off 
isn't 400 uh, like it is like it comes in standard um, I brought them down so that they'd be closer to the subject. Let's see. Uh, let's don't need to mess with the range fall off on that. Let's go to the fill light and uh, let's kind of kind of make it look like a candle scene here, or a scene that has a candle in it. Throw a little bit of orange there. Yeah, maybe that's going to be a little much. We'll see. That's what that looks like. Yeah, that is a little much. But you notice how you notice how there's uh, blue back here, there's orange right here, and then there's the white still, kind of highlighting this side of the, the image. This is what we want. Uh, probably don't want this this much. There we go. There, and that kind of looks candleish. But um, yeah, there we go. But uh, that's your three-point lighting. Um, it's a it's a nice uh, thing to know uh, when you're doing 3D. Uh, treat your 3D scenes like you're doing photography, and uh, and you're you're going to wind up getting fairly decent results. So. Anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.